The objective today is I can use an iterative design to send binary messages. One of the most simple forms of communication is the transmission of a binary message. Interestingly enough, binary is not a computing term. The word binary is used to describe something that can be in one of only two possible states. For example, the question, do you have a quiz today, is a binary question, as there are only two possible responses, yes or no. Think right share, what is binary? In fact, any question that can be only answered with a yes or no, or true or false, or something along those lines would be considered a binary question. It is also possible to make a question binary by limiting the acceptable responses to two, as in, which do you prefer, Coke or Pepsi, country music or hip hop? Think right share, create an original example of your own to ask Mr. Houghton. It might be difficult at the outset to think about how much data can be conveyed in data units. Here are a few other ways to think about data. One bit is either yes or no, true or false, on or off. When you have eight bits, you could think of that as a single letter or character. A kilobyte would be a few paragraphs of an essay, and a megabyte would be about 60 seconds of an mp3 file. A gigabyte, about 30 minutes of an HD movie, and a terabyte could be the first 16 seasons of one of my favorite shows. Think right share. How many bits do your phones have of storage? If you don't have a phone, you can ask a friend and use their number and then answer the question, is this enough storage? Think right share. Using just this image, can you figure out how we take a decimal number and turn it into a binary number? This leads you to the Internet Simulator. In order to sign up for an account, go to code.org, sign up with whatever email, and our class code is going to be BNBBCX, then this link should work for you. Widget time. So the point of signing up on code.org was so we can access this amazing widget, and there are several widgets throughout the course for us to use. Um, you're going to develop a protocol that allows you to use this internet simulator to relay a two-bit message. That is, one member sends a message and the other message or the other member sends the same message back. So all you have to do is copy each other's message. You and a partner decide when to say go to begin the exchange, but otherwise all communication must be through the widget as you're working. Consider how will you know when the exchange is supposed to begin? How will you know whose turn it is to send or receive the message? How will you coordinate your actions? For the sake of this exercise, let's go uh, with the person who has the longest hair. You're the sender. Shortest hair, you're receiving. Practice. Relay a two-bit sequence with your partner. Partner A sends. In this case, partner A is the longer-haired person. So they send a two-bit message. Then partner B sends that message back. Partner A must confirm that the message sent and message received are the same. How long did it take you? And then a challenge. Once you can successfully send a two-bit sequence back and forth, extend your protocol so that it can send more bits. Does it work just as well for four or eight bits? Keep improving your protocol so that you can send more bits as quickly as possible without making any mistakes. And so I put this here in case there's any hiccups in the lesson or if you're absent, um, you can just click this video and basically watch the lesson happen for everyone else. Once you're over here and you click on the link, what you do is come to a page like this. You're going to do a drop down and click third period and then join section. That takes you into the lobby, and with whatever your name is, the partner can find you, and then and then click to join. Once you join, it'll look something like this. So I created a fake student here and, and logged in. I'm Lopaki. So here's um, the receiver and the sender, and these are the bits that were sent to read it. Let's say I'm the long long-haired person. So I click AAA. Oh, I got follow directions. Two bits only, so AA. Set wire, okay, and then read wire, okay. It's pretty much how it works. Don't forget to come down here and click my device because down here you'll have a pulse rate. 
that you can adjust accordingly. A bit is a contraction of binary digit. A bit is the single unit of information in a computer, typically representing a zero or one. A bit rate, sometimes written bit rate altogether, as in one word. Uh, the number of bits that are conveyed or processed per unit of time, that is eight bits a second. Protocol is a set of rules governing the exchange or transmission of data between devices. Bandwidth is the transmission capacity measured by bit rate and latency is the time it takes for a bit to travel from its sender to its receiver. So your DOL for the day, a binary message consisting of four bits, was sent to you by a friend. The message was supposed to be ABAB. -A -B. Unfortunately, your friend sent the message at one half the bit rate you agreed upon. While you read through the message at the original rate, what message did you receive instead? And then the challenge, describe a protocol you could use for reading the wire and sending data back and forth.